Hi, I'm Emily and this is my training partner, Marty McFly. Um, this is my first year in the Training Challenge Pro Division under saddle and this is Marty's second round through by no fault of his own. His previous trainer got injured um, close to the end and she was not able to finish him out poor uh poor marty so he's got a great foundation from his previous trainer and now we're just fine-tuning the edges so they asked us why we wanted to do the training challenge and i thought it would just be a great opportunity to be able to hone some of my current skills and to gain new skills it's very different working with a finished horse or a green horse than a super green and not finished horse, one that has lots of um, skittishness issues versus um, somebody that's, <coughs> excuse me, been there, done that around the barn. So Marty definitely, I would consider green. He is broke to ride. He will take a bit. He does pick up his feet and move around um, on a lunge line but he is just skittish and scared of things and very sensitive and ticklish on his body. And so it's helping me become a better trainer and instructor for my students when I have to think about, okay, how do I teach a horse how to do this? And I kind of compare and contrast where I started with my personal horse uh, several years ago and what I had to do with him to get him past issues. Like he's, almost 16 hands tall and hates anybody that's taller than him so i you know being on the mounting block was super scary um but now he'll walk up to it no problem and you know the pool noodles that i torture marty with my horse didn't bat an eye because he has built that trust with me we've got some goats coming in the barn so marty is looking at those um we're working with overall desensitization and you know I don't want him dead by any means, but I want him to feel comfortable enough and confident enough with whoever his rider is that they're not going to put him in a situation that is going to be detrimental or hurtful to him. And if it is a scary situation that, hi, Patch, there's our guardian dog. Yeah, good boy. That, um, you know, even if he is nervous or scared, he can trust his rider. And right now he is literally wrapped around me looking at our, our uh, big old fluffy Patch. There he is. Uh, guardian dog so he's not afraid of the dogs he's just snorting a little it is raining outside so the barn is making lots of noise um, but yeah that's why I wanted to do the training challenge this year it helps myself become a better trainer and instructor for my students as well as it helps me mold impressionable minds like Marty here